Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here, back with yet another 100% achievement guide and this time we are getting it all in Paw Patrol World, oh yes. Now this was developed by 3D Clouds, published by the people's favourite Outright Games and is usually available for $34.99 but is now on Game Pass, so you know, get it, get Game Pass, etc, etc. So, uh, this is basically like a sort of 3D action adventure game where anything is possible. <laughs> I ripped that straight off the uh, True Achievements website, sorry. Um, but anyways, what we can do here, uh, we can play as obviously all the pups and we can drive the vehicles, do some m rescues and missions and stuff. And it's all good, but uh, this one's a little bit of a longer introduction. So, now I did plan on making this a... 100% achievement guide as I normally do, but the thing is you don't actually need it purely because now in every level There's four levels. We will uh, there will be exclamation marks all over the screen Which indicate the side missions that we've got to do for achievements the main story missions as well uh, Where you just uh, look at Ryder and ask for ask for Ryder, etc And basically the game tells you exactly where to go and what to do very very easy. So instead I put this just as a a collectible guide instead So I mean in terms of achievements, that's what we're effectively doing So there's ten side quests and ten main story missions So just so in order of each level I would go ahead and do the main uh, the story uh, the side quest first then the main quest and then everything else uh, will pretty much just come in time plus we got to collect a lot of pup treats, but you'll see them on screen of, of what I mean So yes, this is going to be just a mailbox awesome. And pup tags um, collectible guide. So hopefully that'll uh, clear things up there. But you can go into options first. We're going to go easy character switching on, manual camera on, and skip dialogue on. Obviously that just makes things go a little bit quicker if you need it. So, uh, yeah, so here we go then. So obviously once you've gotten through the tutorial and you've gotten... So you can see all the uh, exclamation marks there. They are all the side quests. So I would go ahead and do them first. And then if you wanted to, you can go ahead and do the story missions, but it's not necessarily necessary. Uh, but now, of course, we're going to go through and smash out the uh, um, the collectibles. So starting from Ryder, obviously we head down and we will come to Le Porteur's Café right here. Big yellow building. This is the first mailbox. Now, you already automatically get one for this level. So there's only four to collect in the, Porter's Ca uh, in the Adventure Bay level. So next, just head around the back, uh, and then because um, you put easy character switching on, of course, you can just press X to jump up. These are the pup treats that you need to be grabbing, and then what you'll do is press B to obviously um, uh, switch your character, and you have to get a specific tag for each puppy. So there's always going to be eight of these tags to grab in every level, um, one each for every pup. Right, so from here, what we're going to do now is jump down. <laughs> Clown noise. Uh, there we go. So I'm going to jump down as uh, Marshall. And I do end up grabbing these pup treats as well. Now, like I said, because uh, you need an achievement for basically getting all the costumes and everything and stickers. Um, as we head um, onto the road here, just grabbing this next pup treat. And just by here, just behind this big building, you can see the yellow ramp. Uh, climb up there, and this is where Marshall's pup, um, uh, pup badge is. But yeah, so like I said, when you're playing the game, collect as many pup treats as you can. There should be more than plenty enough, though, in order. You don't actually have to collect every single one. So uh, now we're going to take a little drive. Of course, by pressing the Y button, you can uh, go straight into your car. Go past the Paw Patrol big bus, and we're coming up to uh, what is effectively the train station here on the left. So again, like I said, even shiny things and stuff like that, that'll always give you pup treats as well. Uh, but head to the back of the train station, and you can see this is going to be, uh, who's this one, Trackers? No, it's uh, the other one, you know, Roly Poly. Rocky. Rocky just reminds me of, uh, remember the Rocky chocolate bars, the caramel ones? Beautiful, beautiful they were. Uh, anyway. So, as Rocky, again, we can... Well, it doesn't matter who we go as next. So, what we'll do is we are going to take... Uh, we're going to go straight ahead, just behind this house. And we're going to go up this green, green-hilled path. 
and we're going to find another badge. So there it is, and this one is going to be the Time Bro, which is going to be, uh, I think that's going to be Tracker this time, yeah. So Tracker, the little mother Tracker. So with that one done, and yes, so as you can see, it, this is one of those guides that I'm taking you to each direction as the maps are obviously short enough, which, you know, comes in handy. Rather than the whole, go to this location, here we are on the map, and you know, it's just, I, I found it easier to do this one. So we're going to take an immediate left, you see the butterflies there swinging on the left, take another immediate left, up the road. And track has got the best car, by the way, it looks cute as. And then straight in front of us here, now I did already collect this one, um, but right next to Katie's Parlor Cafe here, that is where the next ENV Elope is. And you know, I get uh, get a little bit uh, excited there. Get so excited, I take a wee all over the bush. And you know, more pup treats, because why not? Okay, so from here then, we can see just in front of us and off to the right is a park. And that is the park that we're going to be going into. And just on this little, uh, oh, there we go. Oh, I must ask you a question. Eh, eh, eh. Uh, but anyway, jump in here, and this is where Chase's tags is, Ziz. Okay, so from here then, now obviously what you can do in parks is obviously you can do lots of playing and stuff. They will come in handy for achievements as well, because you have to play with 40 things, etc. What we're going to do, we are going to... <laughs> I thought there was a path down here, but that's okay because we can actually just jump down to the Paw Patrol section, whatever this is. There is another envelope here. So pop this one in. Or, you know, take this one out. And it's... Oh, it's fireworks night. That's... Yeah, that comes in handy since dogs hate fireworks. <laughs> That's ironic. Anyway, uh, jump up here. Again, like I said, you'll automatically switch characters, of course. You'd have probably figured that one out by now. And here is Sky. Z tag. You a new Plus, we get system. summer, right in the middle of summer. Wow, Big American hat in summer. Yeah, that's yeah, that sounds about right, doesn't it? It's all good. All right, so from now we can jump down to the left onto the docks. Next, we're going to need we're going to need to be Zuma. So zoom him on. He's the only one that can go on water. So just underneath the bridge is going to be uh, Zuma's tag. And I missed it, but I missed it on purpose. Because did you see how cool that uh, that entrance was there? Yeah, me neither. That was terrible. Right, so from here, we are going to go... Well, it was basically behind us. Straight in front of us now is the lighthouse. So that is where we are going to be headwing. And this is where the last remaining things that we need is. So I don't know how she's going to... Oh, you're going to get a back across land, lovely girl. Um, you're just going to sit there. Contemplating life. Anyway, come around up to the lighthouse here. There is the next, well, the last for the level lamppost, right next to Ned Flanders from The Simpsons' dad. The one who, we tried everything and we're all out. <laughs> no, what was it? We tried nothing and we're all out of ideas. So, yeah, that's more Flanders' dad. And then up to the lighthouse, right behind, you are going to be finding Everest's um, tag. And then we get a little flower for doing so. How cute! Right, so this is the first done. So again, you should have all eight tags for all of them. And all of the mailboxes. So now we move on to the jungle. And we're going to start right, basically right at the beginning. Um, uh, where the Paw Patrol bus was. So where we started. So where we started, left here. And you're going to jump up and you're going to find Sky's uh, first tag. Now, also, what I should say is, I actually went and completed all the levels up to Mission 9, so that we had the whole area available, otherwise the last area won't be available. So, play the story missions up until level 9 first, uh, and then I started then from the beginning, but we come to this little section right in front of us, um, the old Easter egg, <laughs> Easter egg, Easter egg day, and then staying in this area, you can already see the next tag just above us there, so we're going to need to be... Old Rubble, Bubble, Toil and Trouble. Uh, so do a bit of jumping up. And as you can see, I fail miserable E at this point. So much so that I can't even get back up because I am... I am silly sausage. And then this guy gets in the way. Move it, big nose! I mean, good, good looking. Good looking nose. Sorry. Sorry, that was terrible. Don't call people big nose, it's wrong. 
Anyway, once you've climbed up here, then there we go. We get the next tag. That's awesome. Ah, ah, I only got that from all of the pups saying it after every single bit of dialogue, by the way. Yep, yep. Okay, so from here, we're going to turn around and you can see the sort of body of water here. Because uh, we're going to need to be crossing this bridge. And you can see old elephant nose. Hello, elephant nose. We're going to take a right going up the steps. And ta-da, this is going to be um, Marshall's. No, not Zuma's, because he's not the... He's not the uh, fire bra. Yes. Now, obviously, you could have probably been seeing these already and collecting them on, on your way. You're obviously more than welcome to do that. Because I can't stop you. Um, anyway, be Marshall. And we're going to drive across, straight across the sand to the pirate beach. Or the pirate... Pirate ship, not the pirate beach. Here's the next ENV elope. Arr, shiver me timbers. Where's me rum? Where's me bum? I mean, just rum. Just rum. Anyway, we are going to need to be Zuma next because we're going to go across the water. There we go. We'll try that again. There we go. So, whack out your vehicle and to the right you can see the next tag. That is obviously going to be Zuma's because nobody else can get here. Okay, so from here then, what we're going to do is we're going to take a left. So, we're going to take a left past the pirate ship and we're going to continue onwards to the next body of water or to the next lake whatever you want to be calling it and just underneath the bridge here on the right is going to be chase's tag so you know tag it mag it take a little christmas hat it woohoo by the way, you will probably get annoyed with the words woohoo and well done by the end of the game. You know, very much like on the Bluey video game. Oh, well done, you found a sticker sport. No, it was great first, but by the end, yeah, like you lost your head with it, didn't you? Um, but anyway, into the park area there. It was basically just straight from where we were. Is the next envelope. That's going to be the third one for Zijongel. You can always have fun at a jungle park. Although I didn't expect a park in a jungle, if I'm being honest. But anyway, so from here then, what we're going to do, you can see the ostrich there on the left. So we need to be going to the path, uh, this path, just past the ostrich. Take a left. And then before heading all the way up, we are going to need to be taking the next left, just under these palm trees. So not up where Ryder is. Now remember, like I said, um, get up to at least mission nine so that Ryder is up there and you've cleared the way up to the next part. Otherwise, we come to this big monkey jungle bit. Taking a left in this little alcovey, rocky section. Uh, it's going to be Tracker's one. I don't know why I got confused with those two all the time. But anyway, there is uh, Tracker's one for the next bit. Then we're going to take another left. And heading up just this little hill here for some puppy treats and some envelopians. So whack your envelopes in, out, you shake it all about. Put a giant monkey's bridge on it. And do a pouch route. And then what we'll do, we're obviously going to head back now. So we will get it as, uh, well, it doesn't matter who you are because we're going to jump down. Ah, oh, that was just cool as, man. And then when we finally get over the quick sandy bit, we are then going to take, of course, the next left. Now, like I said, remember, this way normally, oh, and then take another left, sorry. So take another left and then... Again, this one did take me uh, the longest while to find, because for some reason I kept driving past this bit. Anyway, once you've got that one then, we are all good. And then, now, what we can do is, uh, well, get, give us a little poke. Eh. And that gives us treats. I wish it was that easy to make money, by the way. Poke something. Oh, wait. That's nothing. Uh, right, so anyway, what we're going to do is, uh, now we're going to take a left. Now, like I said, remember, if you haven't done the story mission yet and got up to at least completed mission 9, this way is going to be blocked. So make sure to do that and then take a left. And here's going to be Everest's one. That'll be good. And then we are going to nip up to where Ryder is. And here's Mr. Porter. Now, just to the right of where that part is right there, we are going to open up the last envelope of the jungle. Wow. You a postcard. 
Yeah, we did, boys. And that is going to be that then. So for this section, it's all good. Then you can just go ahead, crack on with the last story mission and get it done. So now we're on to Jake's Mountain, which is level three. I should also say as well that if you do accidentally or even if you just finish the levels, you can always use the Paw Patrol bus just to go back to the next level and, you know, uh, get anything that you missed, so don't worry about that. But anyway, again, this is another one where we're going to do the story missions up to at least, or complete at least level 9, and then we're going to start here at the bus, right at the beginning of the level, take a right, and this is where the first envelope is. Now, I should say, the first couple here, um, I accidentally forgot to press record. That's why you're not going to see me actually collect them on screen, but I'll tell you where they are, obviously. So when you get that first envelope, from here we're going to take the next right, and then we'll just continue on this main top path for the momentos. Free bentos, cheeky chicken pie. Oh man, my neck hurts. Right, now don't go all the way down because you're going to take this next left here and then all the way through until you can see this little thing that Sky can jump on, you know, the little whoosher. And then right here is actually going to be uh, Marshalls, I think. Yes, it is going to be Marshalls. So Marshalls is going to be right here. Again, I forgot to press record because I am I am silly sausage. <laughs> uh, but anyway, so that'll be the first tag done. So then we can just jump straight back up as Sky. Oh, yeah. The little Viking hat. He a cute little Viking hat. And this time, we are going to head all the way down. So all the way down this time, not what I just done here. I just uh, realized I made a silly mistake and came the same way that we just came, came. So stop came in the same way in. Okay? Marlon Wayans? Yeah. Right, so all the way down into this little area. And we're going to take the right, first of all. And in this sort of area, this is the, um, you know, the seaty bits where you go up and down and all around. There is the next envelope, just next to one of the side quest bras that you got to do. Old jacked postman dude, or whatever his name is, I don't actually know. So then, once you've gotten this... Oh, hello. Uh, so once you've gotten this envelope, we're going to go straight back past jacked postman dude. And you can see the bridge just in front of us there. And you, you're going to see Chase's tag directly in front of us now as well. So you come into this little icy bit, get Chase is on the cases... And, ta-da! Oh, you found one of my pup tags! Thanks, mate! Wouldn't Paw Patrol be a lot different if they all, sh if they all spoke like that? Ah, oh, cheers, boys! Cheers is on the case! Anyway, since that's not the case, uh, we are going to now go as Zuma. And just uh, past the bunnies here, you would have done that for a side quest. On this body of water is going to be Zuma's next tag. So, ta da 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 there we go, just uh, that was my bit of music there for you. Uh, so we are going to go to the left now, again, where you would have done another side quest earlier. Next to this little hutch, I think her name's Katie. Hello, Kitty. You look very cute. Uh, but anyway, that is where the next envelope is then. Right there, right next to Katie, who wants stuff. Dogs with stars in their eyes. Now, that's uh, that's not possible because dogs have normal eyes. I'm sorry. And just before we head all the way back, you can see on the left here, we can jump up a big whooshy boy as Sky. And then right at the end of this path, then, is going to be uh, Sky's tag right there. Na, 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 et cetera, et cetera. All right. So from this area, we can obviously, we're going to head back down. So jump, jump, jump it. back down. Du -du -du -du. Jump back. Oh yeah. Now I honestly prefer the skies. Oh yeah, to Everest. Tag and search. Uh, no, is it? Ice and snow. I'm ready to search. And that's not a dig at the Scottish accent, by the way. It's it's just the voice. I'm sorry. Uh, her saying that because she could have said uh, ice and snow. I'm ready to go, which would have been better. But anyway, coming all basically all around now. Uh, to this main sort of area, we are going to be grabbing quite a few items here. So the first thing we're going to grab straight in front of us there is the next envelope. Ice and snow, I'm ready to search. And, you know, we can get a bin full of pup treats as well, because, you know, it always comes in handies. 
And then from here, the house that we need is going to be... Oh, well, apparently I'm going to spray his marshal. But basically, remember the... Uh, I think his name's Otis, but he kind of just looks like a homeless guy. Yes, it's that guy right in front of us, but the house to the left of him, where this bear is just chilling, um, that is going to be... Uh, Rocky's one. Yes, Rocky. And obviously that bear's going to be there if you did the side quest. Which, as I said, it's always worth doing the side quest first. So I'm still by that house in the same area. There's Mayor Chicken Dude. And then what we're going to do from here, so basically fr from where Mayor Chicken Bra was, we're going to go to the right into this little park here. There's going to be another envelope. And also, now what I do is actually go back and forth, but just behind the tent on the right is another uh, pup tag. So if you want to grab that now, that's all good. Um, but for some reason, I go back, grab one behind the house, and then come back to this one, which I don't know why. So this one was behind... It had the one with the sleeping bear in it. Uh, so we actually need to go behind the house with the sleeping bear in it, which I believe it was with this woman on the bench there on the left. Yes, this particular house. So, yeah, that's where we need to go. So I'll just show you now. There he is. So sleeping bear. One with the sleeping bear. And then we can just go all around the back. Somehow, again, the, these uh, these cars can fit through almost anything. And then we're going to rub, rub, rubble it up. Yeah, because rubble is a cutest poop. Okay, right. Since that one is done... So I hope you're having fun with <laughs> with the game so far. You know what? It's actually you know what? I, I I actually enjoyed this game. Obviously, it's all very chill. Um, but yeah, the little sort of 3D sort sort of open world stuff worked well. Worked well. Very uh, another top published game here by Outright Games and 3D Games. Right. So we are going to go back into that park area, of course, where Mayor Chicken Letter faces, Mayor Chicken Nuggets is, and obviously where the envelope was. Not to the left, but to the right. Sorry, just getting a bit, uh, bit, uh, bit silly right there. And we're going to go as Track Track. And he is not going to give an ounce of a mother track, because that is his third one done. And, yeah, right, so, <laughs> now we're done in this area. So we're going to need to go to the park now. So head out of this area, and then take a right... So, yeah, so from where we are then, we are now going to take a right, because that is where the park is. Again, you would have done uh, a couple of side quests and everything anyway. Hey, little girl. Uh, and then just continue on straight, and this is actually going to be the last one. Now, actually, uh, so all we're going to do is climb up the rocks here, and nip to the left, and then it's job done. Now, what I thought, <laughs> I thought this was going to be more... Uh, Paw Patrol Hit and Run. You know, Simpsons Hit and Run, which, by the way, needs a remake or a remaster or something. Just release it again, damn it. Um, yeah, I thought it was going to be more that, but we can't actually crash into anything. So there we go. But there is... Yeah, found one of my tags. Anyway, there, that was the finale of the ones. So now we are on to Barkenberg, the very last area and the last mission. So again, what I would do is obviously do all the side quests, do a to and complete uh, story main mission level 9 and then we're going to start from the main sort of main area if you will right in this right in the center so the first one's going to be behind mayor uh, chicken balls and chicken nuggets right here that's going to be the first envelope in the old wow, bark in burgios halloween <laughs> the puns are fantastic and then from that we're going to take a right uh, onto the main road so on to main road, and you're going to see this bit of scaffolding, bit of yellow scaffolding. We're going to go up as Martial. Not Anthony Martial, because he's a terrible footballer. That's a dude who's stealing a living for Manchester United. And then jump down as Marshall Mathers. That dude is a legend, Marshall Mathers. And then before moving on, take a look to your left. And there is the next envelope as well. Yeah, apparently these envelopes, these mailboxes really want to be opened. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool, city trip. Welcome to City Walk. Take it on a please. 
Right, so what we can do now is just head straight down this next main road. And then all the way down. We've got a little bit of Café de Paris on the right, looking like. Take a right now. And you can see the next tag, but what we're going to have to do is take a right and go up these next bit of scaffoldios as well. We're going to have to do it as Rubble Bubble. Up the Scrubble. And you got a bit of platform to do. Careful! Careful! Okay, we're good. We're good. So, that's all of Rubble's done now as well. Beautiful. So, let us now go straight. And then we're basically going to go the just the other side of this main sort of area, if you will, the main hub. So take a look at the next left. So we can still obviously see we're by the statue and Mayor Chickalita's house, whatever her name is. And then just on the right, you can see an area we, where we can use Sky's jump ability. So, you know, although she's getting a bit uh, twitchy right now for some reason. Ah, oh, yeah. Ah, yeah. Uh, yeah. And there it is, directly in front of us. Nice job. We did! We're so cute! Oh, yeah. So once you oh yeah your way up and then back, we will take a left. There you go. Obviously worth driving, just goes a little bit quick, doesn't it? And then what we'll do is head straight onto the beach. Take in. Uh, we're actually going to go across the water, is what we're going to do now. So uh, nip it out as Zuma. And right in the middle of these five archways is going to be. Zoom -er. Oh yeah. Also, by the time that you would have um, finished all the side quests and main story quests, etc. of this mission, you should have all of, you should have the achievement for collecting all of the um, items, the stickers and everything. So that's why if you're wondering that the box in the right hand corner is now greyed out because I've done everything. That's because I've collected all the pup treats and everything. So back onto the main road. Um, here we are by the Paw Patrol bus, and we are now into the zoo. We're going to grab another two items here. One on the right is going to be trackers, I believe. Uh, yeah, it is tracker. I was right this time. Hooray. So grab trackers. Uh, ting. Tags. Tag tings. And then just by the big main building, just to the right of us now, is going to be the next ENV elope. There it is, and this one is going to be number three. So you've got two left, and then it's all done. So let us get out of the zoo. We don't need any more kachu in the zoo. Mm, brum. Uh, so we're going to take a left. Not quite into the park, but straight up ahead of us is going to be the football pitch. Oh, there we go. So get on, get on. So under the football pitch, right here is going to be the next envelope. And this one is, what's this one? Oh, yeah, football match, obviously. Since it's on a football pitch, that makes sense. <laughs> so, yeah, happy days. Right, so now what we're going to do is head into the... Uh, we're coming up to now to the final area, and it's going to be in the Princess's Castle. Now, also, why, if you lived in a big princess or king castle or whatever, why would you have just a big, long, winding... Is it, like, road? Is that just to make you seem massive? I don't know. Anyway... So before heading all the way up, go into this area here. There's going to be a whole lot of pup treats and everything. And you have to come here for a side quest anyway in this little pumpkin patch or whatever it is. But all the way at the end, past these two hay bales, is going to be Rocky. There we go. So that's Rocky's tag done. So now what we're going to do is take a nice little mounting pumpkin drive up to the princess's castle. Where we're going to see... Oh, I was going to do the Mario noise, but Nintendo will probably copyright me and shut down my channel. Because uh, they're all on the rage at the minute, shutting down everything, aren't they? Uh, I mean, <coughs> not, I mean, whatever rhymes with Pin Mendo, eh? So when we get to this area, take a left before going through. And we're going to go as Mount Everest again. And just behind uh, Guy right there, Guy Captain, Ooh, Captain Turbot. Yeah, we have! <coughs> <laughs> See, I can't even do that. I can't even do that voice without coughing. Okay. Right, so once you grab that tag, nip in. Now this, again, once you've completed level 9, then this way will be open. And then just to the left into the castle gardens here, right on our left is going to be the final mailbox. And now you will get the loveliest of achievements. Wow. It's mail time. Time. Peanut butter mail time. Peanut butter mail time. Peanut butter butter. Peanut butter butter. Peanut butter butter. Peanut butter butter. Wait, but bim. 
and I messed that up. Uh, right, so to get the next one, um, what we actually have to do is start the 10th main mission. Choose a um, because it's basically up on the castle walk, uh, the castle wall right up there, but we can't actually do it until we start the, the 10th mission, so that's what we're going to do. So nip it out to big rider bags. The old uh, riding, uh, riding the waves. Oh, yeah. <laughs> mm. what? What's, happen what's happening at the blimp? Well, it's... Uh, no, what's the song? What's the song? Hey there, blimpy boy. Flying through the sky so fancy free. <laughs> hey there, blimpy boy. Flying through the sky so fancy free. Uh, but yes, so... Uh, obviously, we're just going to be doing this a little bit. It's obviously going to be very easy. Um, and again, like I said, that's why I didn't bother doing a guide. Because uh, it, the game literally tells you where to go, what to do. As you're pretty much well aware, since you are now at the end of the game, effectively. Um, also, one thing I should mention as well is... the If you're wondering what you have to do with the flashback, two flashback poster achievements. Um, obviously, after every level, you would have collected a big poster. The, those locations, the locations of the posters well to do those flashback missions are in Adventure Bay in the main sort of party area. So you just have to finish those four short missions and that's what will get you finished in the game. But this is where the last tag is. It's Chase's one. And so once you've got this then, that should be it now. Last achievement done. So you should only now have three achievements left for basically completing the game and doing those two flashbacks missions as I said. So, there we go, guys and gals, then. That was, well, that was Paw Patrol World. So, hope you enjoyed the game. Um, I hope the guide helped as well. If it did, of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share it with a friend as well. A big shout-out, as always, to my all my Patreon supporters and my YouTube members. And so, thank you so, so much. And I'll see you in the next Game Pass well game, guys done. and gals. Well uh, done. Big love, kittens. Come have fun at the Catastrophe Day Festival in Foggy Bottom, the most original.